This is Narrowboat Dreammaker. She is a 55 foot cruiser style narrowboat built by Liverpool Boats in 2004. The interior fit was done by Dreammaker Narrowboats. So starting at the front then, front hatch here is to the storage locker. The gas locker is on the back deck of this boat. You've got your tunnel light and horn, and then you've got your front cratch and cover. So looking inside, you've got two storage lockers that are also seating, and you've got your two double wooden door just there. So going down the boat, you've got the aerial to the TV, along with the chimney on the other side. And then as you go down the boat, all the windows frames are gold anodized and the mushroom vents are brass. And you come to the side hatch. Again, metal. Carry on going down the boat. Come to the boating equipment, you've got the boat pole, boat hook and plank. And then you come to the rear deck with the pram cover. I have taken the sides off just to make it easier for me to show you on the video, but it does come with sides and they will be fitted. So just going to the back here, you've got your diesel fill point. And then as we step on board, you've got the Morso control there u-shaped seating and then the tiller bar is fixed on on this boat and then you've got your mains hookup just there the engine controls the hours are unknown on this boat and then you've got your gas locker just here two 13 kilogram gas bottles right okay i'll get the engine boards lifted up and i'll show you the engine so this is the engine bay on Dreammaker. It's got a Beta B38. As I said earlier, hours are unknown with a PRM 120D2 gearbox. Also in the engine bay, you got the Ebby Spatcher diesel heating unit, feeds off the main diesel tank, same as the engine. And then just below me, we got the three domestic and one starter battery. Right, let's go take a look inside the boat. Okay then, stepping into the boat from the front, this is the interior of Dreammaker. So, a few facts out the way first, insulation on the boat is spray foam, and then all the lighting system going down the boat is 12 volt. I'll um, go through all the things as and when we see them. So, starting at the front saloon area, we've got a Morso Squirrel stove. There we go. And then you got this step just there for going in and out of the boat. You can get access to the water tank from that, and also the storage and the step as well. You've got a mains TV. It's also got free viewer built in it, and the aerial and the sockets just there for the mains. So inside, you've got plenty of storage, and then access to the water pump. As you can see, it's nice and dry in there. So, um, in the saloon area, you've got your radiator, which is powered by a Abbey Spatcher diesel heater. I'll show you where the controls are that, for that down the boat. And then you've got two um, leather seats just here. As you can tell, they're in good condition. They come with a stool. And then that brings us to the dinette area. Single bench on this one, which does offer storage. And then also a single table there if needed. So this one can be taken down. Right, okay. So going into the galley area, first of all, got a nice side hatch there. And there is a perspex screen just there, if you can see it. There we go. Um, to have up in the day, stop the elements and the bugs getting in. So starting on this side, got loads of storage and there's a few glasses and plates there for you. 
We've got uh, the Logic fridge. This is mains powered. Plug's just there for it. Show you inside that quickly. There we go. And then you've got some drawers as well. And then obviously the cupboard under the sink. Again, a few glasses in there. And offers ample storage. The cooker is a 500 dit, so it's got the hob. It's there. Grill. And oven. There we go. And also, a bit of storage just there as well. There we go. And finally, a bit of overhead storage. Just there. Right, carrying on down the boat. Come to the bathroom area. First of all, let's show you the shower. Nice size shower, fully tiled up into the ceiling. And to operate the shower pump, just there. Nicely labeled as well. Next to it, we've got some storage. And then we've got a cupboard here, which has also got a spare cassette in it. Nice size sink. And again, more storage underneath and access to the pipe work. And then we've got a cupboard, another one. Hello. Again. Storage as well. And then finally, the most important in the bathroom, the toilet. Fat for cassette. There we go. I'll show you how to access the cassette. So there's the door for it. It's just in there, so there's two cassettes on this boat. All right, going into the bedroom. So you've got a standard fixed double with a brand new mattress. So the bed also offers storage. There's two drawers. There we go. Also, this bed stores the chlorifier. So the chlorifier can be heated via the engine and it's got an immersion heater element in it as well. So two ways of getting hot water. Some overhead storage. go and then there's some plumbing just under here for a washing machine to show you that so that black cable unplugged there is for the immersion and then you've got an outlet to access there for a washing machine cold water supply there and obviously you've got your plug so going into the cupboard so there's your expansion tank for the abby spatcher diesel heater You've got your battery charger just there and the Sterling Pro Power Q inverter just there. And then you've got your power supplies. So these are the changeover for inverter and shoreline. Currently on shoreline as we hooked up. And then you've got the 12 volt M switches here with push fuses. And then here's the distribution board for the mains as well for the RCD there. And it tells you if the priority is correct and if the system's on or not, which it all is. And then you've got a little battery operated light there, which comes on on the sensor. So as soon as it senses, it turns on. Right then. One last little thing to show you. Here's the on off switch for the Sterling inverter. And there's the control panel for the Ebis batch diesel heater. And um, this also operates timer as well. So you can program in for come on at certain times um, for when you wake up in the morning or just before you go to bed. And then that brings us to the back of the boat. So let's go outside and give you the last few little details. So the last few details on Dreammaker. So base plate is 10 mil with six mil sides. The cabin sides are five mil and the cabin top is four mil. The diesel tank is 45 gallons, while the water tank is 150 gallons. There will be a new boat safety put on this boat as part of the sale, so it will be four years from date of sale. If you have any further questions on this boat or require any further details, please visit our website at venetianmarina.co.uk or give us a call on 01270 528 251. For more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and I'll see you soon. Bye.